we've seen that if you have a vector field and you want to work out the flux of it through some surface like a window at an angle theta, which is also this angle here is theta, or that angle there for that matter, what you need is the intensity, the flux equals the intensity, times the area, times cos theta. Now it turns out there's a very useful mathematical trick for working this out, which is using the dot product and something that's called the normal vector. And this is how it's actually normally done in practice. It makes things much easier. So let's talk about that. So if you remember, the dot product of two vectors is just the magnitude of one times the magnitude of the other times cos theta. So that looks very similar to this. So what we need to do is for our area, which in this case is the window, we define a normal vector. Now this is a vector that's at right angles to the area and of unit length, hence the little cap over the top. And we have our field, in this case the radiation field, also a vector. So the flux through the window is the normal vector dot product times the intensity times the scalar area. And that comes out exactly the same thing as this. So that is the useful trick. If you want to work out the flux of any vector field through any given area, just time, multiply the area by the dot product of a normal vector, which is a vector of unit length at right angles to that area, times the intensity of the vector, whatever that is, which might be the electric field or the gravitational field. The one thing you have to puzzle about is which way you want the normal vector, because there are two vectors that are at right angles to that area, one going in, one going out. And the answer is, take your pick, whichever one you like. In this case, we're trying to work out how much energy goes into the house, so it makes sense to define the unit vector inwards, because then heat that goes in will have a positive number. If you're trying to work out how much heat leaked out of the house at night, you could define your normal vector being the opposite way, and then it will be positive if heat's escaping and negative if it's going in. But it's entirely up to you. You can do whatever you like.